Well, there was some trash talk at the Syracuse Common Council meeting today over the city's new trash bins starting to come in June. News Channel Lines Andrew Donovan explains what happens next now that the plan is approved. The DPW commissioner shows us the new trash bin that 20% of city homes will get this summer. Injuries, comp cases will go down. This is a huge, huge win for DPW and I think for the city of Syracuse. Select neighborhoods to start citywide by the end of the year. Sanitation crews only have to wheel the 96-gallon cart from curb to truck. We're going to have uh, arms on the back that are going to be able to tip the, the, the carts into the bin and no, no lifting whatsoever. People outside of Syracuse might be asking, how is this a new concept? It's not in many places. Towns and villages have had them for years. Businesses in Syracuse have had these bins using private haulers but now homeowners will be provided them instead of having to come up with their own tin can. So we can actually see how it works in different areas. We can adjust to different areas and such, and residents can see exactly what the neighbors are doing. What's approved isn't the exact plan City Hall had in mind. After considering a maximum of four units, apartments with up to 10 units will still get trash service from the city. The legislation requires one bin per unit, meaning some buildings will have 10 for trash and eventually 10 for recycling, a cluttered sidewalk. Which I think that's a big mistake. It doesn't give the commissioner any discretion, and we have made it clear from the beginning that 10 carts for 10 units is not feasible. The council decided to give too many bins as opposed to too few, hoping the DPW can adjust the mount in the future. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Okay, Andrew, thank you. This map shows which neighborhoods will benefit from the new trash bins this summer. We're going to give you a much better look at it if you just head over to localsyr.com.